So rather than a PowerPoint, I thought I would do sort of a vlog style video for this. Um, the same format, just in a video. Uh, I started this whole project down at a coffee shop at a market uh, just up the street, but I realized that really to do this, I kind of had to talk about my whole neighborhood. So this is a little vignette uh, into my neighborhood, into my community and where I've been working. Really enjoy. So this is uh, the Gym City Market. Uh, it was built about two or three years ago. Uh, to kind of serve this community and this uh, part of the city. Um, it specializes in offering um, like uh, special benefits to people who are on SNAP or WIC or any kind of food stamp services. Hey, my name is Luis Zavala. We're here at Gym City Market today. We're here because we're basically just trying to uh, make a difference in this community. Uh, there wasn't a market here for a while. You have to actually go miles down to the Kroger Walmart and it affected people with low income. So we're here to support the community and we have fresh food, fresh produce, and we're trying to make a difference when it comes to people who want to uh, make a difference financially um, in people's lives when it's regarding food and when it's regarding income as well because you can become a member owner of Gym City Market as well. I'm Fred Holly. I've uh, been in the neighborhood 32 years. I've been involved in the neighborhood association for the last maybe 10, 11 years. I've been president of the Dayton View Historic Association. I view my role as one of uh, trying to um, improve a sense of community in the area, as well as act as a uh, go-between between our needs and requirements and priorities with the city of Dayton. This is the uh, Traxler Mansion. Um, it was sort of our pride and joy of the community here. Um, and unfortunately, just a couple months ago, it caught on fire uh, and burned down pretty much completely. Um, I don't think we entirely know what happened yet, but uh, unfortunately, uh, a total loss. This community started off um, as supposed to be a rival city to the city of Dayton. Um, there was a lot of extra zoning laws and rules about how the houses had to be built and how where they could be built, how far they had to be up the street, and then it sort of got abandoned over the course of the 20th century. Uh, now it's kind of on the upswing. There's a lot of people moving in looking to kind of rebuild and make this community beautiful again. My name is Marion Ford. I've been in, uh, living here on Grand Avenue for about 23 years now. I am retired, uh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Bones still hurt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I live here by myself and everything. And uh, like I say, I've been here for about 23 years. Uh, my mother's upstairs and I take care, of, take care of each other really and everything. Now, you, how long have you guys been friends? We've been friends uh, for about 20, 20 some years. 20 some years. Right. Uh, it was a church event, and uh, I caught him watching, washing dishes and pots and pans and everything. <laughs> so I said to myself, this guy belongs to my church. <laughs> <laughs> and how long you been around here? Uh, two and a half years. Okay. I lived in Springboro for 25, and I moved here and it was a cultural shock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, living in Springboro was a different world because yeah. I never had to come over here for anything. Yeah. So when I came over here, I was like, wow. So I'm over at Grace UMC. Um, this is a pretty big part of the community here. Um, there wasn't anybody inside who felt comfortable being in a video, uh, but they do a lot of stuff here, um, obviously services and everything, but they also have a big silver sneakers program. They host community events and community programs. Um, it's a huge kind of resource for the community and they do a lot of public service events here. So this is Governor Cox's former house. This was, he was the governor of Ohio in about 1920. Uh, this property has been abandoned for uh, quite some time and a gentleman just bought it from the city for like almost nothing uh, in exchange for promising to restore it and he's been working on that for the last couple years now. So in some ways this, this project started for me even before this class started. I got involved uh, down here in the neighborhood pretty much as soon as I moved in and you know 
it's interesting to see there's like i said you notice there's a lot of people doing work here a lot of long-time residents and what that makes for is a really diverse community both uh, ethnically as well as you know socioeconomically age there's a lot of different people here gathered together but of course the question on my mind is will that last right i hope so there's a lot of invested efforts from people like fred holly uh, some of the other community figures who are really interested in making this space something that continues to be diverse but you also run the risk of course that as more people come in with an interest in the community with money with resources that it will push out people who don't have the money don't have the resources and so i think as the years go forward that's the thing that i'm going to be watching for uh, and hoping that i can continue to play a role in, in fostering in this community so thanks everybody for watching uh, my goal was to kind of show more and tell less and hopefully that tracked for you uh, you know this this class is kind of just fed into a passion i already have for this city I've lived here for over a decade and I hope to continue li living here, working here, uh, and I hope to see this neighborhood really thrive um, as well as the city of Dayton as a whole. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this gives you a picture of my community and uh, yeah, it's been a great semester with you guys.